Greetings YouTube, welcome back to the channel. First time I've worn my Santa hat to record one of these videos. Tis the season, I suppose. Uh, if you don't celebrate a holiday, you can still get great luck in this game. That is one of the things I love about it. It does not uh, double check your uh, religious preferences before opening Greater Banquet Crystals, which now have uh, about 10 days of time recording this left. I'm sure by the time this hits my channel, it will be maybe nine days. But regardless, a Merry Christmas to so many of you who celebrate this season or a Merry Christmas weekend since Monday is indeed still a federal holiday, at least in the United States, which is good because Christmas Eve sometimes can be, but when Christmas Eve is on a Sunday, everybody in America who works for the government at least gets that off. Um, so the best of the best. I have done way better than ever. I have not opened a six star selector yet or a seven star, but other than that, uh, I got a six-star class-based Awakening Gym for the first time ever from these. Been waiting years to do that. But most notably, I also got a 1% drop rate for a Abyss Nexus Crystal. And this uh, has been a pretty exciting season, though as always, the Conqueror players, the level 40s, who are the minimum qualif qualifiers for this uh, crystal, get the best benefit from it since there is no progression between the minimum Conqueror and the maximum Valiant. But, with that being said, I've been doing this for six years, and I still have people reaching out saying, hey Prof, in case you do the best holiday pools video, and I, it's usually about a three to four episode series, uh, I would like to be a part of it. And bright and shiny, long time supporter of the channel, great dude. How about this? How about four... Uh, of the Max Sig Crystals opened, how about two six-star Immortal Iron Fist? Can you imagine? You could open hundreds of these and not get him. I'm sure there are plenty of people out there who still don't have a six-star Immortal Iron Fist and would like to uh, have Bright and Shiny share one of these, which of course he can't, and even if he could, he probably wouldn't. This is a double... Kabam Santa gift to start off this video. What incredible luck. What an honor for me to showcase this. We're just going to zoom in real quick because, I mean, that's that's wild. In four crystals. If this was 400 crystals, I would think that's wild. But four? Impossible. You will never see this again. In fact, it needs to be the title of this video if I remember. I'm just going to write this down. Sometimes when I think of something, you will never see this again. Alright, so that's the shout out. Now let's get to the others. Here we have the easiest paragon as the title of this account. Two of the greater banquet crystals and there is a seven star Kang. My man Kick Rocks opened $2,000 plus worth. Did not even get a six star selector. Nevertheless a seven star Trophy champ. This guy, two crystals, 20 bucks essentially spent. Uh, a seven star. Speaking of a seven star, we have a seven star Thanos. And as always, when you submit your photos and or videos to me, please make sure that the notifications are caught up. I love that profile pic. That's a really cool profile pic. MCOC God? And then something else like JN. Four crystals. Another seven star signing we had. Kang in the last one. Now we have Thanos. Pretty cool. We have another 7-star Kang sighting for Mystic Art. This is just two crystals in this one. Again, two, four, two. For some reason, that seems to be pretty lucky if you want to open them in batches of two. And then, how about this? This is another thumbnail nominee. Guardian of Flood? Floor? Again, the one... Notification is blocking the rest of his name. But how about a shocking triple shocker, actually quadruple shocker. The four, the five, the six, and the seven. What makes this another, you will never see this again candidate, is that they're all new. It's one thing to get all the shockers. It's another thing to get them all new next to one another. You just won't see that again. And then uh, Magnus Antis, you won't see this again. Three uh, greater guardians crystals. 
uh, or seven star gifted Guardians crystals. I still haven't really memorized that title well. Uh, three Moon Dragons. That's right, Sig 40 naturally for Magnus Ansys. Sig 40 Moon Dragon. Can't make it up. And then we have another seven star sighting. This is from five crystals. Not the best photo because I think he took a screenshot of his iPad on his phone. But this is Night Ranger 91, I think. And then how about this? My man Kick Rocks opened five uh, Science Abyss Nexus crystals. And within those five, he got Photon New, two Silks, and a Cassie Lang. And then the Starks, he got himself a brand new seven star Diablo. From the same gifted Guardians crystal. I got a 4 star next to a 7 star out of 2. He's level 43. Crowley opened the same amount. Got a 5 star next to a 7 star Sandman. And then awakened that Sandman. Talk about crazy odds. Zoolander to win. Got himself a 7 star gifted Guardians crystal. Out of one of these crystals. And that landed him a 7 star shocker. And then G Techno. Got himself one of the rare 6 star champion selectors. Uh, I would love a 7-star one, but I think they're going to wait to give us that years down the line because they don't want to give us too much of where they can evolve the game, and I support that, especially based off of their mistakes in past holiday event evolutions. And then you you can see he also got uh, the 6-star... Uh, he chose OG Vision out of it. And then another Moon Dragon next to Moon Dragon signing for G-Techno. Synergy 247... Two crystals, a six-star Nexus, and a seven-star uh, Kang. This is another example of a video uh, submission or a screenshot submission that absolutely fits in the category of you will never see this again. A six-star Nexus is very rare in these crystals to start, but to add that next to a seven-star and only two crystals just seems impossible to my somewhat limited capacity brain. And then poor Locke. Two uh, crystals. He awakened his Sandman and he got a seven star shocker. I think those are two seven star Guardians crystals. He's had fantastic luck. And uh, believe it or not, this is where it gets real crazy because you think that's a seven star. But it's actually from the Paragon Gifted Guardians crystals that are not labeled as the seven stars. These are the four to seven, the Paragon, which means he got two seven stars and two crystals? I mean, again, had he not submitted this, I would never have believed it. And then these were, I believe, uh, the seven stars, the Steward of New York. He got three Adam Warlocks, uh, an Awakened Professor X and Shocker from his, and that's five total. So this is the runner-up, but we got to end this with the very first photo in this screenshot compilation. And the work that goes into these videos is way too much for the average person to want to do. I mean, I can spend as much as 10 hours in a week compiling these submissions and going through them. And, you know, just remember, be kind to content creators. The average video, at least on this channel, for this kind of thing, makes between like 30 cents and $2. So yes, thirty cents to two dollars is thirty cents to two dollars I didn't have before recording this. But if you spend ten hours collecting something and another ten minutes making something for thirty cents, it's not for the money. It's for the community, and that's what I always say about this channel. It's not about the clicks. It's about the community, and you all still hit me up during this holiday season and have incredible uh, stories for me to share on the channel, and that is the best possible blessing for me. Uh, a lot of people are sick this holiday season. Get well soon. Uh, I wish you all nothing but the best, and thank you to everybody who submitted for episode one. If we get enough submissions, we will do an episode number two.